Hey, it's Dr. Travis Whitney with Innate Healthcare Institute. And today we're gonna go over our MSCs, vertical cord tissue, rejected from the body. Uh, common question we get, um, thank you for everybody that has uh, wrote in or emailed in and, and asked this one because there is a lot of misinformation out there uh, regarding this. A lot of it does stem from uh, competitive businesses places doing autologous uh, treatments where they're using bone marrow or, or adipose and they're very threatened from umbilical cord tissue. Maybe they're afraid that if patients are getting that, then they're not gonna, they're not gonna use something like bone marrow. The, the short take on this is, 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 are these cells that are extracted from an umbilical cord used for uh, some sort of treatment purpose like arthritis or an autoimmune condition or, or autism or a whole host of different conditions uh, the thought is that they're rejected uh, from our body. This is seen a lot in like when you're talking about with blood work, right? So you, you have to like match up the certain type of, of, of blood uh, that you're getting, you know, unless it's like a, there's the whole universal donor and universal acceptor thing. But, you know, if you have blood t uh, a certain blood type, you want to make sure that the blood you're receiving is a match for that. Or you can have... Um, uh, like a bone marrow or something uh, donation where you can't have uh, have problems so the thought is that because these cells are coming from another body a donated umbilical cord this is something that we call an allogenic meaning it's not coming from yourself whereas an, an autologous or a autologous treatment is where you would extract cells from say your fat tissue or your bone marrow so the thought is that these cells must must be rejected they must be bad for you and it's not the case at all. It's not, it hasn't been the case for a really long time. There's some really well published research out there demonstrating uh, that these are safe. And so the shorter answer is, is no. They're what we call immunoprivileged or another word you'll hear is immunotolerant. So our immune system is not recognizing these cells as foreign and evaders. They're not going to attack them and you're not going to get this graft versus host disease kind of response. Uh, so a couple of reasons why um, we'll go over some of the science behind that is they do have um, the, these umbilical cord mesenchymal stem cells. Sometimes you'll hear, you'll hear them referred to as mesenchymal. Uh, they have a low expression of what's called an MHC. And there's two types, the type one and type two. And it stands for a major histocompatibility complex. And these are, uh, these are tissue antigen receptors on, on the outside of a cell. Let's draw one. So if we have a little cell here, let's do a little nucleus, a little mitochondria. And over here we'll have, we'll, just, we'll say that this is an MHC. So this is gonna help our immune system. Our immune system, if this MSC is in the body, our immune system's constantly picking up on things, you know, bacteria, viruses, uh, foods we eat, and and they're determining if it's a threat or if it's if it's okay. You're friendly. You get to pass. Um, so there's a low expression of these on umbilical cord MSCs, which allow them to basically kind of go undetected by our immune system. In addition to that. They, uh, the cells themselves have immunosuppressive factors. Uh, this is indolamine dioxygenase, prostaglandins, transforming growth factor, uh, beta. So these are secretions that are coming out from the cell itself in communicating with these other cells in the area. And it's, like it's kind of like maybe like a safe word. Uh, so they're sending out communications that saying, hey, chill out, no need to come and kill me, no need to attack me. Um, and almost in the same fashion, they, they, there's a modulation of these immune cells. So they're basically telling them, it, it's, these cells are very anti-inflammatory, which is why they work so great in a regenerative medicine capacity. And so they're just doing that with the surrounding immune system, they're saying, there's no reason to be very pro-inflammatory. There's no reason to become inflamed. Um, everybody chill out, we're all friends here. Um, 
So that's a, that's a short version. These are three of the main reasons why um, we label umbilical cord mesenchymal stem cells as immunoprivileged, immunotolerant. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave a comment if you have any other questions or something else that you'd like to see another video on and subscribe to get the uh, latest updates in regenerative medicine from us and we'll see you in the next video.